All right. G'day viewers. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about a little cheap microphone that uh, you can use for your voiceovers or for your podcasts or whatever. Look, this is the Bourne condenser microphone that I found in our lib for all places. And I believe Bourne is their brand, not the Bourne conspiracy, the Bourne condenser microphone. And uh, it comes with a little stand, as you can see in the photo here. And uh, it, to, to my surprise, it's actually quite well made, actually. Now, if you have a look at the thing, it's got a couple of knobs on there. One's the volume and one's the echo. And then there's an on switch, off switch. Now, funny enough, it's all back to front because... Uh, when I put the uh, switch on and the light came on, it never worked. And then I took it off and it worked. But then I had a problem with the uh, echo and uh, it took me a while to realize the switch. You've got to turn the echo right down, okay? You can uh, adjust it to, to suit, but um, anyway, look, let's cut to the chase. Is it any good? Is it of any value? So um, I thought today I'd just talk about it and I would also like to use something else to reference it, something that's already established and uh, quite good quality, and that's the... Uh, Zoom H1 portable recorder. Now I use this, I've used this, I have, it's tried and tested. It's a, a great little product. Now Zoom make uh, incredible audio recording devices. So I'm not doing a comparison as such, but I'm doing it, this as a reference point, okay? So um, for $25 for a, a cheap USB mic, is it worth it or is it not? Now um, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, speak through these mics and, um, and I'll let you listen in and you make up your own mind. But uh, um, the thing about this one, it records straight to the computer, right? So it's, it plugs into a USB cable, like the old printer cables, and um, it, it records straight onto a software package like Audacity, if you're familiar with Audacity. If you're a beginner and you're new to it, um, just look it up. Audacity is a free download. You can just record straight onto that. Now, the portable field recorder actually records straight to an SD card. So what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll do a little bit of a test and uh, talk and let's see what it sounds like. Is it worth the, uh, the money? Is it any good? Can you use it? Let's find out. I'm going to hold these two mics side by side. I'm going to talk with them and then I'm going to play the file for you. And uh, let's decide which one is actually the best. Now, I'm also recording on a uh, Sony um, video camera, not a DSLR, just the actual video camera, which the mics on the actual Sony are quite good, actually. I've got to say they're, uh, they're pretty impressive. But anyway, let's, uh, let's make a start, eh? All right. So, let's see if we can get this uh, show on the road, eh? All right, so I've got both mics pretty much three, four inches away from my uh, mouth. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about two different microphones, one portable recorder and one the Aldi uh, Born condenser microphone. And I've got to say, it is well made. Um, just the construction's metal, uh, two uh, obviously controller knobs, and you've also got, uh, what have you got? You've got a uh, facility or a jack there for a, a set of headphones. Now let's see if it's any good, right? Enough babbling. Let's see what uh, both mics are uh, saying, and also let's compare it to the actual camera mic as well, as reference as well. So let's check it out. Can you tell the difference of the two microphones? Can you tell which one's better, which one's worse? I'm going to say um, my opinion, and this is my, uh, I wouldn't say my expert opinion, because I'm not an audio engineer, but uh, I do a lot of video editing, and I was a wedding photographer and videographer for many years. And um, I've got to say that uh, this is definitely not a professional microphone, okay? But it is very good for the value that you get for a $25 USB mic, powered mic, um, it's powered by the USB, I should say, and the functionality you get with it, stand and, and everything else, I think it's excellent value. But the Zoom H1 is just um, much cleaner. And you really notice uh, the difference when you uh, pretty much increase volumes. That, uh, it, it just pretty much amplifies everything that, uh, everything that I've mentioned. Now, would I recommend this? Yes, I would. And uh, I'd definitely say if you're a beginner or intermediate user, I think this is great for voiceovers, for your videos or your podcasts, and uh, certainly well worth a look. Now, if this has helped you, please uh, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to subscribe, feel free. But I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.